What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today I am out here with my 2019 Chevy Silverado LTZ and satin steel crew cab standard bed. Uh, today's video is going to be my long-term review on this truck. I've had this truck now for a little over three and a half years now. It's uh, surprising to say that, uh, but this was a big accomplishment for me to get this truck. I have never owned a pretty much brand new truck before, and this has been my first one. Uh, a big accomplishment for me and my for my wife as well, because I bought her a new car as well after I bought this. Uh, I bought her a Lincoln MKC, so that was one of her favorite cars. Uh, a long-term review, uh, big question everybody wants to know is when you do reviews, would you buy the truck again? Uh, I said this in a previous video, uh, making this, or I said this in a previous video before making this video for you guys, is that I would buy this truck again, uh, but only in a newer year model. The reason why I wouldn't buy this truck, exact truck again, is because of the lifter failure issue that these trucks uh, within the 2017 to maybe 2021. 2022 year models for the Chevy Silverados had the lifter failure issue uh, kind of hit or miss if you get it or not most people have been uh, I guess doomed by the lifter failure issue I have not knock on wood uh, for me in my opinion for my subscribers you guys know that I have a Pulsar LT on this truck and there, for me that is my opinion and my reasoning of why I have not gone through the lifter failure issue and hope God not to ever go through the lifter failure issue. Uh, the Pulsar LT for me and what I use it for is to always keep this truck in V8 mode. In my own personal opinion, I could be possibly wrong. I know that, but for me, in my own opinion and what I do with this truck and why I have the Pulsar LT is that I always keep this truck in V8 mode and for me, in my opinion, I think that always keeping the truck in V8 mode is causing this truck to not have that issue. Uh, the issue, in my own opinion, is that these trucks go from V4 to V8, from V8 back down to V4 when you're driving and that is the reason why I feel like the truck is putting too much of a load on those lifters when it does that switches from v8 to v4 and back from v8 down to v4 and is causing the lifter failure issue that is my own personal opinion and reasoning why these trucks do that and hopefully chevy and gm has fixed that problem knowing all of that and doing all the warranty work and stuff like that and have fixed that issue with the new 2024 models uh, but for me, in my opinion, that is why I feel like these trucks have that issue of going from V4 to V8. Uh, and the reason why I have my Pulsar LT on this truck and always keep it in V8 mode because I never want to deal with that issue. And so far, so good. Three and a half years with owning the truck, got the Pulsar, Pulsar LT on there right away and have never had an issue ever since or have never had an issue uh, after putting that on or have never had an issue uh, with dealing with any of that ever so that's that other than that you guys know uh I, this truck grew on me wasn't a 10 out of 10 like it uh at first i was around a 6 7 and then now i'm a 10 out of 10 i absolutely love the truck i love that it's a crew cab i love that it's a, a pretty much standard bed it's uh, close to the longer bed size uh, could absolutely fit all my landscape equipment in here if I needed to if something happened to the work truck uh, The 2001 Dodge Ram you guys have seen that truck here on the channel before just made a video uh, Talking about it for a few seconds giving you guys an update on the channel But love that love that it's the crew cab I absolutely had to have a crew cab I have a wife a kid possibly a second one on the way uh, me and my wife go through in vitro self fertilization IVF uh, we're in that process right now. We're just started it to have a second child. So we'll see how that goes But again, we'll absolutely need the crew cab half of the truck uh, For two kids, especially a wife and a kid. So for two kids definitely need that uh, Interior has held up very nicely. I take care of this thing 
Um, as you can see, you got some dry saltness right there. Uh, I don't drive this truck in the salt. You guys know that if you're subscribed to the channel. Um, the only time I will ever drive this truck in the snow and the salt is if I gotta go somewhere with the wife and the kid and it's a bunch of snow and then we need that four wheel drive. Um, so I try not to ever drive this thing in the winter time. I'm driving it right now because it has snowed, it's rained, it's cleared salt off the roads and getting out here and making a couple videos for you guys. So that's the only reason why I'm driving it right now. Uh, but back to the interior, the interior has held up very nicely. I always wipe this down with uh, proper product and clean it up, make sure it stays nice, always vacuum it out. Uh, obviously the driver mats always get the worst out of everything just went grocery shopping too so got to drop off the groceries at home uh always keep oh yeah always keep for if you guys know this if you're a truck guy and you like keeping your truck nice and clean uh the car seat goes over there i got a car seat mat uh to make sure that car seat never puts some those hard indentations in my leather seats because i don't want those messed up if i ever go to sell this truck because if that happens or if it rips the seats then lose money uh trading in a truck or with someone buying a truck uh if you don't have that and you got kids and you got car seats you don't want ripped up seats like your wife's car <laughs> so i also for my wife and my kid i put down uh this cover too as well because again i don't want my seats ripped up with whatever they're doing in the back seat here while i'm driving uh getting a bunch of crumbs and stuff all over the place just makes it a lot easier for cleanup so if you're a husband if you're a truck guy and you got trucks and you take care of your stuff you know exactly what i mean when i say that uh, other than that guys uh, truck is still ceramic coated it's got ppf film on it uh, you guys know i always rock the all-terrain bf goodrich uh, tires on there still the stock height we're still at stock rims you guys know i i don't know if i want to go with uh a different rim and tire setup still i told you guys in previous videos i might do that i might not but for what i use this truck for i really don't need uh bigger rims and tires or flashy rims and tires it's just not really what i what really what i want to do with this truck um i might put a cam in this truck i don't know uh, you guys know i like loud stuff uh so we might go with a cam and a tune later down the road who knows uh knowing myself i'll probably do it but, but i don't know some other things here is the ride quality the ride quality for me is nice uh it's not a huge big bumpy ride or anything like that you know, it's very comfortable to ride in the truck front and back seat i've had my wife drive this truck before uh, and i've been in the the crew cab portion the back seats of the truck while she's driving and it's still comfortable and spacious back there i've been in the passenger seat as well i've had my brother drive this truck as well and my father um, all nice rides so i have no complaints with the ride uh rideability or the comfort aspect of this truck changing fluids changing brakes uh are easy on this truck as well um, the only thing I with the brakes I have made previous videos about this as well is you guys have to make sure the truck is in brake service mode before you do anything brake wise with that means taking off the rim and doing anything with the sensors or the brake pad or the caliper you have to have this truck in brake service mode if you don't you will not be able to reset your brake pad life inside your truck on the dash they will be grayed out and they will be unhighlighted for you to click on it and reset the pad life to back to 100 so you guys have to make sure these trucks are in brake service mode if you touch any of the four wheels and change any of the brake calibers that be the rotors the brake pads the calipers the sensors anything put it in brake service mode uh pulsar lt on the truck uh one thing i forgot to mention in this video is i uh if you guys are if you guys have a pulsar lt and you have to go through e-check make sure you unplug your pulsar lt and re-plug in your factory harness so that you can pass your e-check there is something with the pulsar lt uh and leaving it connected when you go through e-check and the e-check not being able to read the truck you guys go to e-check your 
the truck will not pass the e-check so you will get a not ready or a failed test if you have a pulsar lt on these trucks it's something with the pulsar lt and the computer at the e-check that does not read back and forth it won't read the truck and it'll say truck not ready or vehicle not ready for e-check even though it is ready and this is yet year and they sent you paperwork to get it tested it'll say not ready so what you have to do is you have to unplug your pulsar lt plug back in your factory harness and then I would say drive it your truck a little bit like what I'm doing right now uh, this is my first drive after I've unplugged it uh, so that the computer can readjust itself back to the factory harness and then once I go back for the e-check I'll make another video for you guys like I said in the previous video of making that particular Pulsar LT video for you guys and e-check video I will make that video for you guys as well and let you guys know how that turns out so always note that if you have this particular truck and you have a Pulsar LT. Oh. Um, let me put a cover over the license plate uh, back here so we can talk in the back for a second. At the back of the vehicle now, um, the truck did come with these letters. These are not raised. These are, these are flat with the Chevrolet in there, uh, blacked. This is an LTZ model. As you guys know, chrome bumper, chrome accents, chrome front bumper. Uh, we did go with the true dual straight pipe quad tips for this truck. Uh, absolutely loving the blue burnt tips. Put on our decal back here as well. Looks really good, glows in the dark at night. Uh, still packs a punch on our cold starts and startups and then taken off. do a lot of having fun with this thing and driving it in manual mode so it really makes that exhaust uh, sound off really well uh, other than that guys not a whole lot else it's again just just a truck uh, so my final review of this truck is again would I buy this particular truck again no but I would I buy a Chevy Silverado again yes absolutely Chevy Silverados have long history of a ton of miles getting a ton of miles on these trucks uh, it's just with this particular model the lifter failure issue knowing that that could be an issue later down the road uh, we don't know that for sure so I would buy a newer model after Chevy has gone back in and recalibrated things with their engine and fixed that lifter problem issue because I know that they're tired of getting these trucks in for warranty working fixing those lifters so companies are and brands are pretty good with doing that because they don't want to have to spend out of pocket changing thousands and thousands of people's trucks uh, for problems that they should have known about uh, before putting them out on a dealership lot and putting them out to the public to buy uh, and that's on them and they know that so they do fix issues like that with later model trucks so that's why I would buy a newer model truck uh, if I went to go for another Chevy Silverado I kind of do want if something ever happens with the 2001 Dodge Ram I do kind of want to go that uh, Toyota route their new trucks are looking pretty good and obviously the Toyota Tundras are pretty much the top mileage trucks out here they aren't really known for a bunch of big hauling but they are known for reliability and mileage uh, so I am absolutely okay with using that for a work truck if it comes down to that and or maybe switching this out having this become the work truck and getting a newer Tundra and having that be the luxury truck to drive around the wife and kids who knows we'll get to that when we come to it later down the road um, so other than that guys uh, I'm not sure what else there is uh, again final review is I like the truck I love the truck gonna keep the truck uh, but I wouldn't buy this particular model again I would buy a, a newer one so 
with that being said guys thank you very much for watching appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one have you ever felt are you listening damn